question, it might be a bit of a different one. In terms of coaching staff, when, when I look at Freddie, when I look at Joey, that's probably our generation. And those guys rock up into our camp, would run for a brick wall for him. Um, now the generation's gone like a decade past. And like, say, I'll give you an example. So say if like Wally Lewis had given us lessons or Mal Meninga, I didn't really watch those guys play. So I, I've heard about how great they were and I've seen highlights, but it wouldn't have that impact where you look at someone like Queensland, got JT, got <laughs> Cam Smith, Billy. Yeah. Like you look at Reese Walsh, he's like, one, he's get picked over KP straight away. Two, he's picked by the best fullback to ever play the game. Yeah. And then three, he throws on that maroon armour. Like how can you not, his debut game not be like that. Jurek and and I don't think there's any better substitutions for them. Jurek and the coachings in the, in today's modern day players. Is there a big difference there, or am I just fucking picking? I think picking? there would be a difference for sure. Like one guy we haven't spoken about is Josh Hennay. Like he's our yes. assistant coach at um, the Sharks, and he's he does all the uh, behind the scenes stuff, no doubt for the Queensland team. Um, mate, he's a gun. He's like a he's gun. a gun. What makes him good? Is he the one who used to take ages to kick a ball, eh? Oh, yeah, he was, he was a goal <laughs> kicker. He was a goal kicker. He's just, mate, he, like, he understands where the modern game's at pretty much with, the, like, the rules and the interpretation, you know, what the trends are in the game. But he's, like, straight to the point, like, communicates well. Um, there's no bullshit about him. He's just, like, he just, he's just got it, mate. Like, he took over when um, the, the club made a decision to sign Fitzy. And moved Johnny Morris on, but he, so he took over his interim. Mm. And like for a guy who I had nothing to do with before he came to the club, like I reckon within half a season, man, I had so much respect for him as a coach. And um, he's the next young gun coach, man, off the ranks. I, I, I yeah. feel a bit like worried about saying it, like publicly, because yeah, he eventually might be he's going to get the attention. Well, I, I want to keep him at the Sharkies all all the time, but <coughs> I have no doubt um, whatsoever that he's doing a lot of the behind the scenes stuff just to help Billy and you know, Cam and JT out because they're not in the day-to-day, week-to-week grind of, you know, coaching in NRL and running sessions and planning the weeks where Hedy is and you know, he, he's unbelievable. So, and that's the thing where I know the Blues have Mary who's been in that system, but they don't really have a, a coach who's right now, right in, you know, the, the game this season, last season. There's, yeah, there's Freddie yeah. Brandy, Mary. Um, obviously, Badiris is there too. So, you know, maybe... Um, you know, possibly, quite possibly, we, we, we are lacking that little bit of and that, the, the hard part is, is because the Queensland was so dominant for so long. Like, like if you went off the, if the winning halves from when New South Wales finally jagged one, it'd be like Hocko and Reynolds. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. So like the level of halves that, due to success, I don't know. I, I think about that little stuff a little bit. Eh? I was yeah, telling, I was stuff. telling the boys the other day. Cause obviously, my short life in uh, Queensland camp <laughs> uh, before they found the imposter but um yeah like I when I went in and Billy was our backs coach um and it was like me Reese Reese was meant to debut in 2021 yeah um like Cole Feld and Val uh, were in there as well and I remember he got us into this meeting and he's like such a like technical man like he they say that he, yeah. he's like a he's like a yeah maniac at it and gets us in this room and um I was thinking oh we must be having a normal back five meeting blah blah, blah and he pulls out his little iPad, bro, and he goes, it's this dog chaperoning this horse, like, following this horse, and when the horse goes right, the dog's, like, chasing it, like, mm. just getting in front of it, and he's like, this is how you got to be at the, like, effing back, if you want to be a, like, good fullback or a good outside back, this is the difference, you got to be like this dog, and we're just watching this clip of this horse <laughs> getting, <laughs> getting chased by this dog and, like, followed by this dog, he's like, you got to fucking stalk it when it, you got to anticipate when it's going to move, you move, and, like, you saw that in Reese Walsh's games and, and how he played on in Origin as well and you know, the anticipation of a reaction kind of thing. And I think just by seeing that, I kind of looked at it and I was just like, man, that's that dude would have done that every like every day of his life and his footy career. And, he, and never, he never missed a line break. No. Nah. Will Kennedy, like, he, he never yeah. misses yeah. it too. I wonder what the key is to good support. What, what did he say? Did he teach you? No, nah, he just, that? Nah, he Bit kept it weird, just, yeah. Yeah. Just kind of I think you just got to keep your feet moving. Yeah. Anticipation yeah. over reaction. That, yeah. That's what it would be for He'd sure. jump in our drills and just look like he could play yeah. NRL still. Like, he would get in and just do something freakish and I'm like, what the hell is this right, The level, like... That's annoying. So yeah, it's annoying. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I played a World Cup with both Billy and Cameron and, like, they obviously had that years and years to play together. But Billy, like, he was even like that as a player. Like, he's, he would run the back five sessions yeah. and then we'd get onto the field, you know, and I was in the back row. Like, he'd talk for a whole... His talk for a set right. was unbelievable. He'd be like... 
control in the middles at the ruck, talking about whatever shape that is, and then like over the back of it, yeah, wait, I'll be on the back of you in two plays. Like, yeah, he's sorting it oh, all out. Wow. Like, so his level of understanding and footy like IQ is through the roof. Where and he would be like the play by play, playing every play, um, talk. And then there was Cameron, who was the captain and the hooker, who would just he'd play, he'd take control of the long game, and, and t- take care of you know the field position and where I'm putting the team, mm. just constantly. Um, you know, putting the team in in the right places to allow the likes of you know Billy and, and JT and and Cooper to take over and play their footy. So it was sort of like, yeah, Billy, he'd be like the play by play guy, but then yeah. Cameron would be the long game. He'd understand what the team right needed at that time in that moment, and he'd get that done. So I was I was pretty fortunate to have that opportunity to play with them because yeah. we got beat by them for a long time. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's annoying, eh?